You're a good dog. Yeah, you're a good dog. So John Deere's out here this morning. They reprogrammed mom's combine. She's been having problems. Uh, she can be going through the field and her acres will just stop counting. Um, and then her screen will freeze and then it'll shut off and just start spinning. So, and then she has to kill the combine, turn it back on. And then I think she said every single time it does that, it's 15 minutes till it turns back on. And then she loses all of her acres. So we don't really know what's going on with that but John Deere came out and reprogrammed her combine. I don't know what that consists of, so don't ask me. But mom and I are about to go run a sample. Um, if it's under 16, we can cut. If not, then no. So the four farmers combines, Emma and Cody are all going separate from us. Um, it's gonna be mom, I, the cat combines and Matt and the cat combines grain cart. So I think they have to road the combines 12 miles that way um, and do about 300 acres. Um, and then the rest of us are gonna go the opposite direction and do some other acres. So it's not practical for all of us to pile 12 miles that way to do 300 acres. So we're kind of splitting up. And Cody is going with them and Matt is staying with us. Matt is the farmer's grain cart driver. Um, we have to do a bag change and Cody isn't very experienced with a bag change, but Matt is so Matt's staying with us Well, Matt and I have been going for quite a bit Mom broke down the first 40 foot that she cut. I believe the center draper belt tensioner broke um, I've never had that break So I don't know why it broke but it did but evidently they got that put on and mom is headed back
Well, the cat combines are moving fields, but mom and I are going to help remove this bag and move the bagger down the road. Never mind. They said they didn't need help. Also, that doesn't look very promising, but we'll see as the day goes on. Also, no, they did not lose their bail when they were hauling it. They bail the bar ditches here, which is strange um, since I'm from Texas. About Nebraska up, um, they start bailing the bar ditches for some reason. I'm gonna guess because it gets so cold in the winter, but I could be wrong. So this empty spot right here is where the bag goes. Um, right now we're cutting out a spot so he can get in here and get set up. Otherwise we have nowhere to dump. And Matt is on his way. Um, he's coming down the road that we were just on and he said it started raining on him. So evidently it's pretty close. So everyone's pretty gigged out right now trying to cut open a spot at least to get this thing parked. Um, and then we'll go from there. So this automatic header thing, I haven't turned it off yet today, which I'm probably gonna turn it off sometime in the future. Um, I'm still testing it out though. Right now it's doing all of this by itself. It's lateral tilting, lifting up and down. It's actually pretty impressive. Um, there is some spots that I can definitely do a better job than it. Um, but I'm sure next time we cut, I will probably turn that off. starting to sprinkle, which I probably should have got out and wiped my windows off, that way I don't have to glass cleaner it again, but, well, technically mom wouldn't have to glass cleaner it. I think you're pretty much rained out, so. I don't know if y'all heard or not, but the four combines that left this morning, uh, they're already rained out, so. But we're still cutting, probably not for long, but we're still cutting. Anything on them sinking? seem to have made a friend. I like honey buns, but I didn't know it was this serious.
as you can see, things are getting a little damp. So when we get to the end, I'm pretty sure we're quitting. to cut till 119 and I cut 32 acres so that was that was a huge day but today is Friday which we had to be out of the field by sundown or raining which in this case is raining um, and Saturday we don't work so the next time we will cut is Sunday which the next video will be Monday but thank you for watching and y'all have a good day